Hi, my name is Krishnan. I'm a technical marketing engineer for the security business group Cisco System. So this is a short demo on how to do a zero touch provisioning of next generation firewall virtual on CSP2100 platform. Here I have used the API of both the CSP2100 as well as the firepower management center to automate the provisioning of this next generation firewall virtual uh, using a Python script. So the CSP stands for the Cloud Service Platform. It's a Linux kernel based software and hardware platform which is used to deploy any virtual KVM based network services on this platform. It can be a Cisco product or can be a third party, third party product. And the intention of this platform is to provide a infrastructure for basic lifecycle management by enabling the administrator to create, upgrade, modify and shut this virtual machines quickly through this multiple interface options like a graphical user interface, CLI, REST API or the NetConf or Young interface model. So you can get the REST API documentation for the CSP2100 in the Cisco side and for the Firepower Management Center API, uh, you can use the API Explorer this API Explorer resides on the Firepower Management Center and can be accessed using the URL HTTPS uh, slash slash the management IP address of the FMC slash API slash API Explorer. So this is the topology I'm going to use for this demo. It is a simple topology where I have a client and web server on two different VLAN, which is 510 and 520, and uh, which and also configured with the IP address from two different uh, subnet. And here I use this Python script to call the API of uh, CSP2100 and Firepower Management Center to automate the provisioning of this uh, virtual FTD uh, on this CSP2100 between this client and the web server network. And also as part of this demo have created a, um, the policy uh, using the API to allow this ICMP traffic and HTTP traffic between this client and the web server. Okay, let's start the uh, demo now. Here uh, I have uh, the client and the web server. The client is configured with the IP address 10.1.0.101 and there is a specific route is added to reach the web server and the web server network which is through the 10.1.0.10 .10. and this 10.1.0.10 .10 is configured on the one of those next generation firewall v interface and then the web server is configured with the IP address 10.1.1.101 and uh, here also have added the specific route to reach the client network through 10.1.1.10 .10, which is the, uh, the other interface IP address of this next generation firewall v. So I've used this Python uh, script um, uh, to provision this uh, next generation firewall V on the CSP2100 as well as to register the uh, FTD on the Firepower Management Center as well as uh, configuring the interface and then the policies through the API using this Python script. So I'm going to ping from the uh, so client to the web server. The ping is not successful as well as HTTP from the client to the web server which is also not successful because we haven't provisioned this FTD between those client and the web server uh, network and even FMC which is not uh, included with any device. Now I'm going to uh, log into the uh, CSP2100 graphical user interface and uh, this repository have loaded the Firepower Thread Defense virtual image as well as the day zero configuration file. So in this day zero configuration file here is used to pre-configure uh, the, the management specific setting for, for FTD while provisioning this uh, FTD on the CSP2100. It includes the settings like uh, IP address default gateways, the firewall mode, the host name of this FTD and also the FMC IP address and the registration key to register this FTD successfully with this firepower management center.
and then the access policy this is also the predefined access policy which going to attach uh, with the FTD while provisioning it uh, it's going to allow the ICMP traffic once uh, this get attached uh, uh, with the FTD after it provisioned into the on on the on the CSP 2100 so this is the uh, python script and uh, it has a uh, several uh, sections and it start with the uh, provisioning of this next generation firewall v with the day zero configuration file on csp2100 and the second section is on um, registering this next generation firewall v with the default policies on the uh, firepower management center and then uh, once it get registered successfully then the third section is of about uh, configuring the ip address and bringing up this interfaces and then and also attaching this policy then the fourth one is the allowing this http traffic by including a rule on the existing policies so um, i'm going to execute the script and going to show you how it called the api of csp2100 and fmst to configure this uh, through the apis so now uh, it's deployed this uh, virtual FTD uh, successfully on the CSP2100. I'm going to check the status of this uh, uh, deployment on this uh, on the CSP2100 platform. So it shows that it deployed uh, successfully. Now I, I click the console of this console of this to see the the boot process. And here I included the script to probe this um, uh, FTD management IP address through the ping command. Once the ping is successful, um, it will uh, show the status as active. So the next uh, section of the script is going to register this FTD with FMC. So now you can see that it's waiting to get registered now. Uh, um, and you can see this management IP address and the policy is also attached to it. And um, um, the next section is about uh, 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 configuring the IP addresses and bringing up these interfaces. To do that, we need to get those uh, the unique uh, ID of the device and the interface to uh, configure the IP address onto the specific interface on the specific device. So now, um, so it executed that uh, section of the script and it added the IP address successfully for gig 0 slash 0 as well as for the gig 0 slash 1. So I'm going to check this on the FMC. Uh, so you can see this 10.1.0.10 and 10.1.1.10 is configured. Uh, and it's also attached with the policy. Now I'm going to try the ping command. The ping is successful now from the client to the web server. But the HTTP is not at uh, successful because the HTTP rule is not added. This ends the zero touch provisioning. And uh, the next uh, section is to add a rule through the API to allow the HTTP traffic from this client to the web server. And now uh, I'm going to hit the enter so that it will add the HTTP rules uh, to allow this the HTTP traffic from the client to the web server. I'm going to check that now. OK, so now this uh, the, it's getting the response from the web server and you can see this uh, um, the logo and this information on the screen and this conclude the session. Thank you.